Well, we've spent time looking at dialogues, manually building up conversations, maintaining state transitions, and you know all the logic that comes with that ourselves. Um, the dialogues are really powerful, but they come at the cost of increasing complexity and maintenance. You know, over time, as as your application gets more complex, then these things become more difficult to maintain, um, more difficult to debug, more difficult to sort of understand what's going on. Bot Framework gives us another tool that we can use to orchestrate more complex conversations. It's a tool called Formflow, and with Formflow, we we get some benefits in terms of automation and and providing some conveniences for us, but we also lose a little bit of the power that dialogues give us. So it's a bit of a balance. Um, Let's take a look at the Formflow and see what it looks like in code and have a look at some of the benefits that you can get from using form flows. So for the example, I want to take um, a sort of CRM sales inquiry example. So we, we, have, um, we have customers who are interested in services that we provide and we want to create a bot to you know, capture some demographic information about the customer. Uh, we want to capture what the customer is interested in and you know, we want to have some kind of conversation. Let's fire up Visual Studio. I'm going to create a new boss application. Call it Formflow. So I've got a little bit of pre canned code I'm going to just drag over here so we can, you know, so you don't have to watch me type basically. So I'm just going to grab this cross and then I'm going to add a new file for our form flow object. I'll show you what that looks like as well. Okay. Just make sure this built and then I'll talk you through the code. Okay. So we have our API controller that you, sh- you guys should be quite familiar with now. Um, inside the, the controller, we are creating a, effectively we're creating a dialogue uh, using form flow, and we're using this class. On here we've got a method, which if I go into, you can see we're using the form builder, and we're basically just building up um, building up an inquiry form based on this inquiry type here. So you can see we've got you know some information that we want to capture. We've got the name, the company, the job title, the phone, which service you require. In the service, we've got different types of service that we offer. Um, this is just the sort of typical information that we might capture on a CRM inquiry. Key thing here is that the, um, the inquiry class is serializable. So there's you know, there's really not that much to this. We've just got a, you know, a plain C sharp object um, with some properties and this static method to build our form using this form builder. And then we invoke that through here. Okay, so I'm just going to run this. So I'm connected so I can, I can start to talk to the bot. I'm just going to say, hello. And you can see it's asking me for my name. So I'm going to type in my name, company, job title. Phone number. And then we've got this um, card where I can, you know, I can say yes or no to be signed up to the to the mailing list. And then I can pick a, a service that I'm interested in. So, you know, project delivery support, other. I'll say support, for example. So if we just go back to the um, inquiry, just to sort of talk you through what we've just seen, I'm going to put these two side by side so you can see. So you can see the very first thing it's it's asked me is the name, then it's asked me the company, then it's asked me the job title, then it's asked asked me the phone number, and then it's asked me how how can we help. Ask me 
if I want to be signed up to the mailing list. Now all the previous properties were strings, so that was just you know plain text capture. But because this is Boolean, Bot Framework is intelligent enough to work out well, you know there's a, there's a couple of options there. So I'll show a card with, with those two options for the user to pick one of the options. So it gives you that convenience. And the same with the service required. Rather, here I'm not using a Boolean, I'm using a service. But again, it's a, it's a, it's a discrete set of um, options that I can choose from. And Bot Framework is intelligent enough to you know show those options in there so I can choose those. So I'm just going to run through this again. Obviously, you can already see it's done quite a lot um, for us. But if I initiate the process again, um, I can say James. And then because I'm in a form filling scenario, I can do things like I can say help, for example. And the form flow is given as this um, context aware help screen. So you can see um, it's saying you are filling in the company field, possible responses. You know, if it was an enum, it'd tell me what the responses were. And it's saying what I can enter. I can go back to the previous question. I can quit the form, I can reset the form. And I can also say status, okay? And that tells me all the information I've already filled in. So, you know, if I put a, put a company in here and then said status again, you can see it's filled that information in for me. I can also do something like going back. I can ch actually change the value of a previously um, entered field. So I could, um, you know, contours are limited, for example. So you can see it gives us a ton of benefits. So I think this is quite, you know, it's amazing what it's done really with minimum code. All I've done is define a class with some properties and it's worked out a way to kind of capture that information from the user, assist the user through a discussion. Um, and I haven't really had to provide any behavior other than the, the definition of the, the class itself. But it, it's not perfect though, because it has had to, you know, make a guess at how to capture that information. Some of the dialogue that it's, um, it's showing is quite robotic, you know, please enter name, please enter company, that kind of thing. Um, you know, the service required, I think, is in the wrong place as well. Um, so there's a few improvements we could make, but in general, it's pretty good. Okay, so we, you know, we've, we've, got, a, we've got a process here that's well-defined um, and, and kind of, you know, does 80% of what we need it to do. We just need to customize it a little bit. So Bot Framework gives us the capability to to, you know, to change the, the flow and, you know, control it in, in some way. Um, so let's have a look and see what's involved in that. So we do all this through, um, through our inquiry, our form that we're, we're capturing. What I'm going to do is take this inquiry and replace it with some, some prepared code. And I'll just talk you through what this is doing. The class itself is pretty much the same. We've got all the same properties. We've got, we've still got this build inquiry form, but we've changed, you know, we've, we've augmented it with these attributes that you can see. So here we've got the, the um, prompting, you know, what's, what's your name? Can I ask which company you work for? What's your job title there? What's the best number to contact you on? You know, can you think of anything else that would help? help us to understand your needs. So really, we're just building up a more conversational dialogue, really. So that, that's kind of how we can improve the text of the, um, the discussion. But we can also control the, the flow as well. So I've taken a really simple example here and I've moved the, um, the service required field to the top. And what this will do is when, when we build up the form, it will capture this service required information first. And then once that information has been captured, it'll, it'll add the remaining fields. You know, this, this syntax is, is literally doing what it, what it, what it looks like. It's, it's capturing this field and then it's adding all the other fields that haven't already been captured. I could add, um, let's, let's see, I could add, could add assign me up to the mailing list for example and that field would be uh, the first field that's captured so let's take a look at to see what that looks like 
So I'm just going to start a new conversation here, clear these down. And you can see the very first field that it's trying to capture, if I just move these side by side so you can see them, is sign, sign me up to the mailing list, which is this one here. And you can see it's, it's, send, it's displaying this more sort of human readable text. So I can say no, and then it'll capture the next one, which is service required. Do you know which service you require from us? And I can say, you know, support project delivery or none. Say support. And then it'll capture the remaining fields in, in you know, the, in, in the best order it can, it can determine. So, you know, this is usual. James can torso. So you can imagine we're capturing all this information. Maybe we've got a CRM system that we want to save this um, to. Maybe we want to hand off to a, a real human to kind of capture the sale. But the real key here is we're, we've built up a form with barely any code, really. We've just kind of had to define the fields that we want to capture, you know, in some instances, the order in which we want to capture as well. So there's there's a lot more to form flow than what I've shown you here. You can you know you can do ask for confirmation. You can do conditionals. You can do events for completion. Um, it works in the same way as a dialogue. So these work you know very well with dialogues and they're completely interchangeable. But it's quite a nice tool to have in your tool belt for certain scenarios where you discrete set of information that you want to capture in a form based interface. So I'm going to leave it there. I'll leave a link to the form flow documentation so you can have a look at this and, you know, it goes into more detail, but this is, this is really the sort of core concepts and the things that you need to understand, um, the scenarios in which you'd use it and so on. Hopefully you found it useful. Again, if you, if you did, um, or if you've got any feedback at all, please leave it in the comments below. Thank you for watching.